Hello there and welcome back to Pyre. This guy has some sweet pipes. I am Lacey Bones and let's continue here at the Black Basin. I have to keep talking because I don't know if this is copyrighted or not and I don't want to be hit. So, at last your wagon rumbles onto solid, jagged ground, the land called Black Basin. Your fellow exiles unpack the wagon so you can take stock of how best to reach your destination. <laughs> Run out of breath, Black Basin. Black glass searing vapor and strangling forests mark the forsaken lands that loom across the sea. The eight scribes first discovered this, the northern landmass and down the, the... I should have stayed. Survey the surroundings. Can we go in here? Stop singing! Uh, this guy. You approach Sir Gilliman who must have just finished practicing his fencing maneuvers. He regards with his single eye. Hail, Master Rita! This knight is determined to train harder, having joined the famous Light Wings. He shall ensure that this triumvirate continues to live up to its most feared reputation. Jeez. Mister, calm thyself. This is such an honor, and this knight has a great deal of honor to regain. Having fled the pyre hearts, this knight fully expects now to conduct the rites in a most honorable fashion. To the fullest letter of the law described within the books. Some triumvirates this knight has met and perchance mentioned by name, they are inclined to be to bend the rules a bit, sometimes a lot, and to prevail by any means they can. But this is wrong. <laughs> the exiles who refuses to obey the rules, as they were written by the under under king, or s. That's how the guy says it, or s. And his seven friends, seven friends, deserves neither his honor nor his freedom. The seventh of the eight scribes of the book of rights, known as the preserver, per, <laughs> persevering. Or the sea of Rene Gergjujar. Oh. My chest. Uh, thusly does this knight have confidence that Master Reader shall resist any temptations to conduct the rites in any underhanded fashion. Now, then, this knight must undergo a thorough cleansing, having trained until the point of foolishness. So, please excuse him. Master Rita. He slithers off humming some sort of chivalrous tune. Oh, well, this thing's sparkling, so this has something to do with something. Silver cuddlehead. Cuddlehead. A limbless, cold blooded creature rescued from the sea. It is fully grown and has led to a rich life. Survey the surroundings. You find that Hedwin has asked for several volunteers to scout the area and report back. Alright everyone, don't go too far, and let's meet back by dusk. Please, use caution. The exiles dwelling in these lands are, well, rather territorial. For your part, you remain with the black wagon to keep watch. You see occasional dark shapes soaring across the sky, but none of them draw near enough for you to see in any detail. Eventually, your companions make their way back, and everyone arrives as planned, or earlier. Ugh, May. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm back. I have come back. Yeah, cool. May returns from the east with little to report, save for the word that the glowing molten rock there is very, very hot. Ugh, Sir Gilman. <laughs> this knight yet lives, although he has little else to report. The newest member of the group, Sir Gilman, returns from a northern pass, visibly shaken. Always, he's always visibly shaken. He appears to have discovered an intense fear of heights. <coughs> Has he? Ugh, Tizzo. Uh, Tizza wander, wan wanders, whether wonders, 
whether any species of fish lives in the pools or rocky rock nearby. Wow, I read that terribly. The little imp Tizzo seems disappointed to have left the water behind. He remains with you near to the wagon. Ugh, <laughs> Dario. There, there is a western pass that seems traversable. If we travel by the light of dawn, the shadows and the crags may well cover our advance against whomever may be watching. Ceramiscus. Begging your pardon, I do not wish to con contradict our strategy, madam. Though, in my experience, we shall not remain hidden for long during the climb toward the nest of Triesta. Uh, according to the stars, the next fight shall soon commence here. Oh, that's the next fight. The exiles of the high wings, high wing remnants. Oh, his voice, I forgot. The exiles of the high wing remnants. You may have no love for them inherently, but they have such qualms with me. I have no such qualms with me. For now, I may be able to negotiate safe passage. Divinity. Negotiate with them. Then Hedwin steps in as the lone minstrel bows and backs away. Sir. Hey, let's not decide on this just yet. We're not going anywhere right now. That much we can agree on. We decide how best to go ahead come a morning. For now, let's take the rest of the afternoon and go our... Get our bearings. Jadario glares at the sky as everyone else disperses. You have the rest of the day to practice your vocations. Uh, forge for resources. Uh, study in private. Um, mentor a companion. So I don't level up the companion. When your skills is ready to grant small. Oh no, let's do this one. Alright, who needs to level up? I haven't used him in a while because he's always not wanting to fight. I always use her. She's so large, I can't see where she's at. Uh huh. Uh huh. I guess let's. Oh, wow, he's super fast. I might be able to replace him with her because, honestly, I don't really like her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's mentor him. This light shall be your ego, protege. You sit down with Sir Gilman to go over some of the subtler aspects of the rites, such as the state of banishment and how to return from it. You sense he is beginning to understand. Yes? Oh. Huzzah! Great wisdom clouds over this night's entire consciousness. Yes, choose a Mr. Mastery for Sir Gilman. Hmm. Uh, if Sir Gilman and all his, his allies are banished, he shall instantly return. That's good. I've, I've been through that situation many times. After Sir Gilman banishes an adversary, one of his banished allies shall instantly return. Oh. I'm going to go with this one. That, oh, this knight has little fear of banishment. Should his self-sacrifice help clear a path for his compatriots? Okay, sweet. We have uh, leveled him up. Uh, oh, I can't look at my supply. Oh, yes, I can. I actually want to take this off with the guy. What's this do again? Oh, right. That's good. Uh-huh. Take that off. What's this do to being banished? Immediately take that back. See, he's got so much speed already. Fair games. Uh... uh. Should I give him speed? He's already plenty fast. I think I'll use this. 
Where's uh, my... There he is. Hmm. Give him some extra speed. And that's it. That's all I want. Oh, man. I only have three... Soul? Not good. Continue the journey. Oh. Wait, what happened? Oh. Hmm. Never mind. Uh, the Black Shore. The low road to the nest of Triesta passes through razor sharp sands. Jadaria wishes to avoid the harps by staying on low ground. Harps? Harps? She doesn't like music? Uh, High Wing Cove. The high road to the nest of Triesta is patrolled by the Commonwealth's ancient enemies. The lone minstrel believes he can negotiate safe passage with the harps via this path. Hmm. Well. Uh. Uh. She's been wrong before. I don't think I've ever gone the option of this guy. But I mean, wow. If they're if they're enemies. Ugh. I really do think he'll do it though. <sighs> but I think she hates me. And I don't think this guy would get butt hurt about it. Let's go this way. She would definitely get butt hurt. Unless she hides it well. I bet you we're still going to run into the guys, though. The shattered lands of Black Shore proved difficult to traverse for the Black Wagon. The low road to the nest of Triesta passes through the razor sharp sands. Jadariel searches for a solid path forward to little avail. Shrug. Dang it, you screwed us over again, Jadariel! <sighs> Fae. Fi? Fi? On these blasted lands. How are we to proceed to this? Tintapelus. Perhaps I may be of some assistance. This place is not so unfamiliar to me. Nor are its hidden Desnians. Denzians. Please remain with the others until I return, madame. I shall not be long. The minstrel disappears into the cliffs before Jadario can protest. In the meantime, you and she continue to keep watch, sensing unseen eyes. The last time that one disappeared on us, the last time that one disappeared on us, we searched for him for days. But this time, he soon returns. I have secured safe passage through the nest of Triesta. We pay, we may proceed. Secured safe passage with whom exactly? Just then, a winged woman dives down from the sky. She looks Jadariel up and down, and then... She soars away without a word. The lone minstrel says nothing more, either. <laughs> Jadariel's scowl deepens. Her centuries, four centuries, the Commonwealth withstood the High Wing's remnants. Treacherous assaults, thanks to soldiers such as she. Ah! What? Come on! Man! Make it a four. I plan to use her on the next right too. This is why I'm so upset. <gasps> Are you in a car? At last you arrive at the nest of Triesta. Where the right, uh, where the next right is soon to commence. You cannot shake the feeling that unseen eyes watched your wagons ascent and remain watching now. Page revealed the hunt something. Let's see, let's see. Inspect. The hunt for Murr. In the words uh, in the words of Golgathanian, the Master General Gath Golathanian. My Emperor lay there bleeding and alone, stranded in a bitter land beyond the river. With fleeting consciousness, he understood the folly of his quest and the folly of his rule over, the over his country. 
Thus did he await the last embrace. It was the imp Hub that nursed him back to health, and warned him often of the dangers he would have to face. Many enemies of Mur would come in search for him, some under employment by the rope collar, some longing openly for cold, uncomplicated vengeance, uncomplicated. I was one of them, plunged into the river willingly. We needed to be sure that he was dead. Cool. Right. Radio. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, hey, you guys. What brings you way out here? No, wait. Tell me. I don't want to know. Oh, dang it. I read that so well and I screwed it up because I didn't read don't. Dang. All I want is you to get the best deals the downside. I don't have any money. I mean, I guess I can sell on this stuff. 20. Bonus damage. Actually, I want to keep that. You can have this. And, uh, let's see. Raises the rank of it by two. By one. Uh -huh. I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Uh, when aura casting raises the barrier's maximum. Okay. Don't have enough. Don't have enough. Don't have enough. I want this. Thank you. Proceed. And this. Yes. Go back. Uh, you guys really are my favorite customers, you know. Cool, cool. cool. Come on, right. <laughs> you and your fellow exiles gather on the blasted lands called the Nest of Triesta. Expecting the imminent commencement of the rites. You see no sign of any adversaries, but then you hear a whooshing sound above. Oh, no way I can mimic that voice. This, <laughs> this then is, hmm, winged woman. This then is what passes for the night wings then. Such a rabble, not even dressed for the occasion yet. It seems the scribes have little pride in their tradition. Hold your tongue, little bird. We have not come to the top. No, you have come on behalf of your commonwealth. Mark well my words, you honored filth. When at last we free ourselves, your home shall burn. Oh, with that, the harp swoops off as Jadario glowers, glowers after her. Glowers? Am I reading that right? Glowers? Shouldn't it be glares? Anyway, harp. Winged warriors from the mountainous offskirts of the Commonwealth, where they are feared. They fled to their mountain nests, awaiting the day when they would darken the skies and retake the land. It is only then that you realize another harp has come. Oh, she is quite serious, I assure you. I can help you sort her out. It's in our mutual interest. You know not of my interests. Uh, let's give this another shot. Hi, my name is Pamitha Thane. Pamitha Thane. She appears to be one of the winged harps of the wing high wing remnants now bound in exile. Pamitha. Pamitha. Uh the sure the surely one the surely one back there. That was my blood sister. You need to judge her harshly. Oh, I'm reading it so bad. No need to judge her harshly, though. We've only met just for now. Though I must say, something about you reminds me of her. How dare you implicate that I have anything in common with your ilk. Sir. Just then, Hedwin shows up to intervene. He it whispers something to Jadario. 
No, Hedwin. You cannot be serious. Jody, I'm asking you to trust me on this one. Am I perhaps interrupting something? Say, by the by, the by. however, I've never heard that phrase. Did you make it all this way across the sea? Didn't see you flying in. Trust is something I am loath to give away, Hedwin. But you have set our course thus far, and I have followed. So do as you must. Uh, that sandalwood had better have an explanation for all this. Jadario storms off as Hedwin turns to Set you. What's your take on this one, my friend? Our informant wants someone for each mask. I hadn't expected we'd brought it to a hop. Yet, here she is. What are you getting from her? You turn your attention to pa Pamithia. Pamitha who has been watching with bemused interest. Ah, a reader, are you? Pleasure to make your acquaintance, dog. Well, here I am. Gaze intently all you like, and tell your comrade there the truth of it. Why don't you? You sense that she is conflicted about something, though you do not know what. You also sense, however, that her motives here and now are earnest. Oh boy, oh boy. Edward wants to know. Okay. You are willing to take Pamithia to her word, and she seems alright. Express your reservations, and it you do not know. I mean. I have my reservations. You tell Hedwin that you have several misgivings about Pamithia and suggest caution before accepting her into your ranks. I share much of your concern about her, my friend. It's just I have to give Sanderwood the benefit of the doubt, as well as Pamithia. We've come this far thanks to a certain faith, and right now it's telling me to take her with us. I hope you will back me up on this, as I'm sure Jadario won't like it. Then he turns to Pamithia. I am Hedwin. We'll accept your offer on two conditions. If you will hear me out. Conditions? Why, sure. I love a good condition or two. Oh. Oh. First, after we're finished here tonight, you come along and make sure that your blood sister and her friends don't give us any trouble when we are headed out. Second, you'll have to find a way to get along with Jadario, who you met earlier. Brilliant! I had no plans to stick around here anyway. As for your demon friend, no doubt we'll get along famously. Now, I don't suppose you have an extra set of remnants I could use? because I think the right is getting started. You look up and realize she is right. Sweet. This might be a long episode. Maybe. Oh, boy. I need to take a break after this episode. My voice is getting tired. Rita. Hello. I thought for sure the stars would have eluded you by now. Nope. Yet here you are, somehow, upon the nest of Triesta. <laughs> and you've swelled the ranks of your triumvirate not merely with another, but with two. Yep. One from the Pyre Hearts, no less. I'm happy then. And one who seeks the favor of the adversaries whom you'll imminently face. They are the essence. Winged terrors, as you soon shall see. Can your longing for freedom match their hatred for the vibrant country that was once your home? Maybe. From a distance you observe a Aspamithia, now clad in Nightwing wings remnants, heads toward your adversaries in the rights. 
you. What sort of heathen harp would dare take the wing against us? Your new companion then loosens the bindings on her mask. Hello there, Tamitha. Tamitha? I know a Tamitha. She is one of the winged harps of the high wing remnants now bound in exile. Oh, oh. Tamitha's blood sister stares back at her a while before responding. What is the saint's name? What in the saint's name are you doing here with them? Saints. Saint Triesta Tithis, fifth of the eight scribes. Uh, where was I? I lost my place. Of the Book of Rites, known as the Discipled or the Blessed It Blessedborn. So I'm messing with my mic. It's a little weird right now. Okay. Uh, doubtless. Wait, doubtless come to dig your talons in my back again. No, sister. I've come to have a word with you. Save it. I cannot help but share your poisoned blood. But I shan't ever count you as my sister. You expect me to believe that you come all this way for talk? You waste your time as ever. What's life if not a waste of time, dear sister? Give me a chance, why don't you? What do you even have to lose anymore? Besides, I've come a long way. Silence, you shan't have come here. And the time for talk is long since past. If only you could see yourself again consorting with my enemies. Fine, then. Savor their defeat. But I warn you, stay away from me. Mm. Par Pamitha says nothing more as she her blood sister turns away again. Hmm. How many think gets your attention? Listen to me, reader, darling. The rest of you are ill-equipped to navigate this place. Let me conduct this right on your behalf, and my wings will bring your victory. You victory. Da, lady! Your words ring true. This knight is flattened that you have not eaten him as is the tendency among your kind. This knight hereby volunteers his post in the triumvirate for the- Ah, oh, I wanted to use him. Sir Gilman refuses to participate in the rites this knight so that Pamitha can face her sister. You observe the treacherous terrain. Pamithia should be better suited to the rites here than the rest of you. Huh. Who shall stand together here this night? Oh crap, I forgot to do that thing, and she's super slow. Oh what? Reluctant. They're all reluctant, though. Fudge. Fine, I'm gonna take no, wait, yeah, this is a speed one, right? Thank you. Put that there. And this is two. Uh huh. Yeah. Now it's it's still two. And then, uh huh. Oh yeah. Nice, so nice. Sixteen. It's better than it was before. Cheers. Pamitha. Pamitha. Why? I thought you'd never ask. There, darling. I accept. If the little bird is going to conduct the rites for us, then. I shall not. Uh, but. Hmm. Chivalrous. Hmm. She won't. I guess I'll pick this guy. And increase his damage. Uh, him. Edwin. You can count on me, my friend. And then him. Brookie. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, you got it, chum. It, it is done. 
Come then, sister. Perhaps when we are finished here, you s you'll spare a moment of your time. I shan't be tricked by you again, Pamitha. How poetic that we meet here in the downside. I can think of nowhere else where I would rather see you but for what you did to our people and to me. Pamitha seems to sense your presence and then catches your attention. Oh my gosh, let's commence the ride already. Hello there, reader, darling. If I'm not to be at your mercy is... Oh my gosh. I'm tired of reading. I'd like it very much if you could minimize how often I'm to wallow in a state of banishment. Quickly, let me show you what we sisters of the High Wing Remnants can do. Uh. Reader, Press X to fly. You put yourself amidst a feud between two sisters? That seems entirely unwise. Even for you. Chief Dash. Tread lightly around that exile Pavitha. Her kind's all but forgotten Saint Triesta's grace. Press speed to tackle. Oh! Oh! Interesting. See, darling, we hops. We're not so bad. Now I suppose we'd better get back to work. Hmm? Just don't go underestimating Tamitha over there. I trust you'll do the best you can. She's a vengeful tactician of the High Wing Remnants who plot the Commonwealth's ruin. Disguise, sisters. Talon formation. Oh! Finally, ugh. Uh, fly? Gracious. What? Your pyre is the first to falter. Mother. Fuck. Damn it, man. Headwin. What is. Was it? Tell me something you know about to fly. How to fly. I wish I did. Right now. Right about now. Then listen up. My blood sister there, she'll swoop right past you if you're careless. But we hop simply cannot get much altitude down here. So, if she goes for any unfair tricks, just jump for it and catch her in the act. She always hated when I used to do that to her. Jump. Bla press X to block flying adversary. Oof. Oof indeed. Oh my God. Of freedom. Uh, Neither triumvirate is closer than the other. Come on, 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 come on. Here. I oh. Pity Oop. what transpired there. Jump. X is jump. Come on. Come on. Defensive formations. No. Uh oh. Jump. Jump. Ouch. I'm gonna just start jumping in every time, even though I lose your a, adversary's uh, a guy. Pyre now falls short of yours. Tread lightly. How do I? Uh, uh, no! No! Oh, oh. Come on, defensive formation. I'm not gonna go after them. Yeah. Come on! Come on! Yeah. Jump! Oh shoot! No! No! Alas. <laughs> Fudge! To the max! This is the road to ruin! Oh! oh. Oh shoot. Jump! You oh. yourselves wide and open. Wow, she didn't defend. No, not who I want to use. Poor exile. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, come on, come on. Jump! 
crazy. What? We're gonna lose this. I can't believe this. We're gonna lose this. I'm not. Down goes that one. Wow. How come I have minus three? The flame has died a little. Uh, damn you, Pamitha. You are no true fine. To think that you have the gall to call me sister. Still, after everything you brought upon us, fine. Fine, clan. A feared clan of the High Wing Remnants. Pamitha and Tamitha are its surviving members. I hate to break it to you, Tamitha. But I don't think my actions, however, however much they hurt you, had any effect on our fam familial status. Look, I know I wronged you. That's why I'm here. But you don't know my side of the story. Your side of the story? If I wanted to hear more lies and deceptions, I ought to have asked the Commonwealth to say to stay in my sentence for a while. Well, if you have come all this way to face me, Pamitha, then come and do it. <sighs> you and me. You, th oh, you think that... Oh, you think that you see Pamitha shake her head. Everyone, stay back. X to block flying adversaries. Fail over Tamitha. What is it those two think they're doing? The rights are not the place to settle any scores, and it is done. Yeah. Do you know who prevailed? Oh boy, I that was certain they would not. a long episode. A lot of reading, and I'm tired of reading. The right is oh done. Oh, uh, not more, please. You commonwealth filth. Only through that traitor's help could you have beaten us. You post the coming of your liberty but we are ever patient and our sisters on the other side shall have their day with or without your <sighs> aid Tamitha wait please you found good company there Tamitha may you wish we'll wither here with them I hope sincerely we shan't ever meet again Tamitha stands motionless in her blood sisters depart hey she's gone the rest of us are headed back. Uh, what about you? Sure, uh, I don't see why not. The eight scribes bless us Woo. with their ways. <laughs> oh, I used to think the scribes were just the stuff of stories, but all of this, this really is their doing, isn't it? Ah, oh, we're done. I'm gonna call this an episode. I'm gonna take a break. Oh my gosh. Drink some water. Uh, uh, and we'll see what I pick after the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Lazy Bones. Uh, this is Pyre. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.